Yeah, so we give thanks. Um, in this time, it's, all, it's war time and things, so we have to seek words of wisdom, uh, words of encouragement, and words of wisdom. And um, today here I have here is the Holy Bible, and it's this is the Gideon's version. Um, certain words and stuff will vary from version to version, but typically they are um, the same. So let's just get into it because like if you're stressed out, feeling bad, or financial problems, all of this, burdens, stress, and all of this, um, this is a very good psalm to read. And let's get into it. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked or stand in the way of the sinners or sit in the seat of mockers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by the streams of water which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever he does prospers. Not so with the wicked. They are like chaff that the wind blows away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. And that is Psalms 1. And it reminds you that... A blessed man is a man who does not counsel with the wicked, who does not stand on the side of the sinners, who does not, a righteous man does not mock, but his delight is in the law that governs us, the law, the good morning, the good night, the thank you, the excuse me, the, the, the law, yeah? Treat someone as you would want them to treat you also. So in the law. And on the law. The righteous man will meditate day and night. And that make him like a tree that's planted by the streams of water. Because his delight is in the law of the Lord. And his law, the most high law. He meditates day and night. So when you have a leader who meditate the law of the most high day and night, his people will be all right. Or her people will be all right. Yeah. So this is the thing that we need to know. The delight. The delight of of. The righteous is when the law of the Mosai is respected. And whatsoever we do will prosper because as it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. In a way, like you you have to have people um, who delight in the law of goodness, of righteousness, of living good with each other. So whatever we do will prosper because the most high, the, the, the original force, the God force that made us was selfless. It made us and it did not ask for any pay. It made us and it made us and it, it never asked for any pay. Um, and the earth has been working ever since she, she's been employed. She never complained. The sun, the moon. They have been working for us, the humans, lesser beings. Lesser beings for eons and times without asking for any tax. And they've been getting along. If the sun come too close, we'll scorch. So the sun, even the sun, the celestial beings, they delight also in the law of the Most High. Because if they were disobedient, then... If, the, if 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 uh, time and space was disobedient, then we would have no time and space. Or if if the moon and the stars were disobedient and they did not hold their position for um, as long as they need to hold their position for everything to be in order, it would not be so. Yeah, you cannot have an alphabet without starting at an A and ending in Z. 
You, do you understand? So it's basically like the world was made round for a reason. Yeah? The world was made round for a reason. And all the wicked people, they absolutely have a chance to clean up and be better. Like Paul going to Damascus to, to slaughter and kill when he realized that it was not a good thing. It was not a good thing. And he turned around his ways. So this is it. The blessed is the man who does not walk into the counsel of the wicked or stand in the, the way of the sinner or sit in the seat of the mockers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. A lot of time I'm sat around people and they talking about people and I'm like, I don't want to hear people's business. I don't, want to hear I don't want to hear other people's business. Leave people's business alone and mind your own. You understand that? So that's what I believe. And I want to be like, who don't want to be like a tree that is planted by, by, by a stream that will never run out of water? That's absolutely amazing to me. You understand? It's like, okay. So when you're doing the works of the Mosa, you're like a tree that's planted by the water. Yeah. And I find myself whenever, anytime or whenever I pick up, I have to talk. These are, these are language of one. You understand what I mean? I can't just chat like some Jamaican woman I chat to. I want to speak to all of the people who find comfort in the Bible in reading and understanding and things to meditate on, things to think on. Because that's what he does, the righteous man. He meditates on the law of the Most High day and night. He never forget the Most High. As soon as I get up, I try to say, give God thanks. Give thanks to the Most High. As soon as I go to my bed, I try to say my prayers. But every time I consciously try to make an effort to say some prayers. Because like the tree that is planted by the streams of water, it will yield its fruits in seasons. And its leaf will not wither. And whatever you do, when you're good and kind and decent, you will prosper. Who is Christ? Who is Yeshua? They crucify him on the cross and we still speak of his goodness today. That's like, that's what it means to be planted by a stream of water. You understand? When you are close to God, um, you are a part of the ever-living you are a part of the goodness, the grace, the mercy, the peace, and the love of the ever-living. A lot of people say mercy is weak. But leave mercy for the merciful because there will be no mercy for the merciless. So this is where we end it. Please um, not stress yourself too much. Me, myself, I'm going through spiritual warfare. Myself. And of course, I have to turn to my Bible every, every time to seek some comfort. As my grandfathers, my great ancestors, they use this book to help into the abolition and freedom of their self. Because in this book, it said, aren't all men created equal under God? There we end it today. I hope you all learned something. And do pray for all of us. We pray for each other. So um, if we ever forget to do so, we are covered. Not so the wicked. They are like chaff that the wind blows away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the, the way of the wicked will perish. I will give thanks to the Most High, Jah, Almighty God, Almighty, Almighty, Almighty. We also Give thanks in the name of Emperor Eli Selassie that teach us about true Orthodox Christianity. Um, and yes, we give our thanks for all the Ibonas out there in the mountains, high up in the regions, in the mountainous regions that meditate on the laws of the Most High and they are delighted by it. And they do it day and night. And just like the moon and the sun, they don't seek any type of payment. Their delight is in the law.